The industry was livid that an environmental group got their hands on an orca they could rehabilitate. They kept saying it was wrong, we were cruel to do this to Keiko. If it weren't for orcas in captivity and the whole thing about putting them in captivity for amusement, Free Willy would have not been made because there would be no orcas in captivity or no dolphins in captivity. In a perfect world, Keiko would be free as a whale doing what a whale does without a human ever knowing who he was. We were educating all these people but what we did was, we said we're going to get him back into his native habitat and show people that can be done and why these marine mammals need to be wild and free. That was the key and that's why it was worth whatever it cost to do it. And it showed a lot of people what these whales and dolphins were like. Since Free Willy came out in 93, Keiko in his own way taught people that, you know, these animals don't belong in captivity. That's why you don't see captures anymore. And Keiko would have died an unknown orca in Mexico long ago. And we gave him an extra over 10 years added on to his life. He was the most famous whale there was. His legacy lives on. <laughs>